It was a big, big free agency signing and one that we are so excited to talk about, which honestly I haven't stopped talking about since it uh, <laughs> since it dropped on Monday. But we got to talk about Debinha because it is official. Debinha has signed with the Kansas City Current, the Brazilian international and six-year veteran of the league, inked a two-year contract with Kansas City Current with an option for 2025. Lisa, this was our number one biggest prime star target of the free agency period. Please hit me with your reactions when you saw this news drop. I love that Dabinia is going to Kansas City. I love what the current is building with their club, with all of the advancements they're doing off the pitch with their training facility, their first female dedicated stadium, female soccer dedicated stadium, um, the players that they're acquiring. I mean, Kansas City won the free agency, hands down. They started with Vanessa DiBernardo, Morgan Gattral, and they end up with Dabinia, just incredible incredible strength in the midfield. Um, I am like so curious to see how the midfield sets up for Kansas city and how they play together. Right. Because we've seen Dabinia in the same system in the NWSL for so long, a box midfield uh, where she has the freedom to do whatever the heck she wants and move into the attack. And we saw that development last year at North Carolina between Dabinia and Caroline, uh, where they really had this free flowing movement uh, to, to move forward and to drop back however they pleased. Now playing alongside for Dabinia, playing at Kansas City alongside some more structural midfielders in in Lola Bonta that that has a lot of freedom herself and uh, Vanessa Di Bernardo and Morgan Gatra and and Scott Desiree Scott right we still haven't heard from her what's happening. Um, I am so curious to see what Kansas City looks like, but Kansas City wins the free agency hands down because this was the biggest player on the free agency list um, as a six year veteran in the league, someone that is in the prime of her career has found so much success formerly at North Carolina and Kansas city as the runner ups in 2022 of the NWSL championship. They're making a statement and signing to was one of the biggest statements they could have made. It's a splash. We got to get in the water puns, Lisa. I know. Okay. Look, Kansas, I'm with you. Kansas City Current. I think if we're talking about putting grades on it, A plus, 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 plus. I think yeah. for the first ever uh, free agency period that exists in NWSL history, you're looking at the current in terms of who they signed. And they already had made headlines nabbing not just one, but two of the elite midfielders on that free agency list in Morgan Gatra and Vanessa Di Bernardo. And then despite all of the rumors, despite all of some of the uh, reporting out there tying Dabinia to certain areas of the globe, whether it was yeah. overseas, this is a player that had – international interest right there was a, a very real possibility i'm sure that a player like her um may have made her exit from the nwsl yeah. when we were talking about free agency and we were talking about this player being our number one target that was one of the things for me when i was looking at somebody like Dabinho. is this a player who was looking at her career and looking at the last six years uh, of her life in the nwsl and was she going to say hey you know, I've I've done it I'm all here. Different. Yeah. I don't have anything left to prove in NWSL. I have absolutely dominated this league. I I I've got to go and and you know rack them up somewhere else. I I I thought maybe that was going to be something that perhaps um persuaded uh this player to maybe make that leap overseas. And we heard it what Arsenal, Barcelona, yeah. Paris Saint Germain. I think man, like Manchester United, and people were throwing out Chelsea in everyone, there. Like, everyone, everyone yeah, wanted her. Ju Juventus, you know, at one point, like it was, it was a, uh, it, it almost felt like an endless list. And then for NWSL, we really just um, heard about Orlando. Um, you know, in, that in, was in the, that was the most but, recent. 
that was the most recent, but I would argue, I would argue that there were far more NWSL clubs in the mix for this player. Um, yeah. I think the the little bit of the surprise element for some people that it was Kansas City should probably signal that there absolutely were multiple teams in the yeah. NWSL in the running for the Davinia sweepstakes. But um, it was cool to sort of see this news get get dropped, sort of see her reaction or Davinia's reaction to making the choice for Kansas City as well. I agree. I think her reaction to it um, was very special to see and and kind of the reasoning why she chose to go to Kansas City. And it was because she liked – what they were doing there. She liked what they were building. She liked everything that they had going on, what they were doing off the pitch with their training facilities and their new stadium and their commitment to the sport, commitment to the professionalism of the sport. Those are things that that's how you get one of the top talents in the world. Um, When a club and every single club wants her throughout Europe, throughout the States, that's how you get her. I mean, when you look at Dabinia's accolades, right, you said it best, Sandra, she had checked off everything on the list in the NWSL to do. So the only way an NWSL team was going to keep her here is if they offered her something that no other club could offer her. And when you look at her list of accolades, exactly. Sandra's giving the money signs out there. But when you look at her list of accolades, Two-time NWSL champion, uh, Challenge Cup champion, two-time Challenge Cup MVP, uh, NWSL MVP, three-time Shield winner, women's ICC champion. I mean, this player has everything under the sun. So what else could you possibly offer her? I think it comes down to ownership and leadership of a team and kind of who you're going to work with. That's one of the biggest benefits of free agency. You get to pick who your coach is going to be, who your specialist is going to be, and where you're going to live. I don't think location comes that much into it at this point. And then it comes down to money. And Kansas City is a team that is not messing around with their message of why they want to be the best and why getting to the NWSL championship in their second year was not good enough and they want to win. And that's the statement that Kansas City made. Well, you know what? I I would also make, uh, I would add an additional argument to that, that their very impressive 2022 run to the NWSL championship actually became part of their pitch for probably some of these three agents that they landed. You know, I think if you look, if you want to get more of my takes, I wrote, I wrote them all out uh, on the trade at cbssports.com. So you can go see what I had to say about Dominion's arrival to Kansas city there. But that was one of the things that I brought up in that piece as well. I think the fact that they went on that very, very long run all the way through to the championship final. I mean, they had a 13 game undefeated streak at one point during the the season. These are all things that help you as a franchise make those type of pitches to those very desirable candidates, whether you're trying to nab them about a free agency, whether you're trying to, you know, talk about, uh, you know, potential trades that is important. I think more than anything, when you're looking at these players who have been in this league for a certain amount of years, they don't want to go to any old team. They want to go to a contender. And that is very important for Kansas City, that they had that very successful run and that they have uh, done a good job of sort of retaining a lot of the pieces from that uh, championship finals appearance. I mean, you know, they they have the goalkeeping position uh, locked up. You know, this wasn't just a, a really strong free agency period for this franchise, but you know, their GM, Cabby Levinson, made a lot of great moves in terms of being mm-hmm. able to make, um, you know, multiple resignings. We saw the resigning of Kate Del Fava. Uh, we, uh, you know, we saw Alex Loera get another um, contract extension. They announced Haley Mace is going to remain in Kansas City as well. So these are all integral pieces uh, for this franchise moving forward. And, and you loop those type of resignings in with these type of free agency acquisitions. I don't know how you don't look at Kansas City right now and say they're not contenders. They are completely contenders. Yep. Um, they have to be. I, I want to give a shout out to people joining us live on YouTube right now in our chat because some of these comments are amazing. You guys are making me crack up. Lucy saying, hey, congratulations to Kansas City Current on their 2023 NWSL <laughs> championship. And what Kansas City is already looking good. Uh, giving a shout out to Dabinia, um, yep. Eat, Sleep, Repeat. I mean, Casey is a powerhouse. Dabinia, Mewis, Williams. I mean, even without Mewis and Williams, right, we don't know the status of Sam Mewis. 
this right now, but Williams is working her way back. She's in the U.S. January camp. It's still, it's Dabinia, Di Bernardo, Control, Scott, Kato yeah. Fava. This is crazy. I mean, VU saying Casey isn't playing. They're going to be balling this season um, completely. I think Kansas City just gained a lot of new fans, right? I mean, as you mentioned, the, the 2022 year for Kansas City gained them a lot of traction. People were like, oh, this is an underdog team. This is a team that's having fun. They've got crazy celebration. What else? And in order to continue to, to grasp the attention and to grow their fan base as well, this is a power move for them to get to Binia. I'm I'm thrilled to watch next year. I even saw some people on Twitter talking about how they've got to get out to Kansas City this year. They've got to see a game, and they've got to see this team play in person. Hey, that's how you grow the league, out, so Lisa. I'm all for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just at me. I think that was one of those people. I was like, you know what? I'm I'm here in Chicago. That's just a little. It's not that far, Sandra. <laughs> you can get down there. Sandra. Yeah, I'm calling you out. Let's get to a Kansas City game this year. I'll be there. I'll come with you. It'll be great. We'll make our way there. I love that. The Midwesterner in me was like, yeah, it's just a little like eight to nine hour drive. It's cool. Like anybody can, <laughs> you can just get there just in a day. It's fine. Yeah. Um, no, I'm with you. I think for for me, I think I don't want to speak for you. I think maybe for us though, for um, the free agency period that we've been tracking it for as long as we have, I think this was a player that everybody had their eyes on. And it's so cool to sort of finally see the landing spot and sort of see how um, talk about everything that sort of led up to this point. And now we get to talk about um you know, what that means for this club and, and how this type of player can sort of fit in. And, and what does that mean for, um, you know, the, the roster as a whole moving forward? I mean, it's, there's a, a bit of a, a reunion here with former North Carolina Courage players, whether it's Dabinia and, and Lynn Williams, uh, Kristen, Kristen Hamilton. Hamilton. We have to include Sam Mewis in that, although there's a lot of question marks uh, around there. What does that mean for this midfielder? And what 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 place does Sam Mewis have in it, if at all? Right. This is a player that um, uh, only Sam Mewis knows. You know what's what's uh, where she's at in her her recovery process, and uh, I think everyone has to continue to to respect the player in in, in that time. Um, so we'll we'll see. I think preseason. There will be more that comes out in terms of the picture and what this looks like for the team uh, positionally moving forward.